Vimeo video tutorial how to use Vimeo for beginners so hello everyone so in today's video I will show you guys on how to use Vimeo for beginners so without further ado let us begin so to start off we should start off by creating an account so what you want to do is just go to vimeo.com and then create an account but before we create an account let us see the plans that are provided in vimeo so these are the the different plans that you could buy in vimeo so first is we have the free plan next we have the starter plan the standard plan and then the advanced plan so feel free to check all of these out in which you are comfortable in using you can also pay it monthly or annually and then moving on let us begin with the sign up process so to sign up in vimeo just click on join for free right here and then it will ask you if you want to connect or continue with google or just continue with your email so for me i'll just continue with google and then after creating your account you'll be redirected here in the home page of vimeo and then there you go so this is the home page of vimeo so from here you can upload files from your computer or import files from your drive or create a new or start from a template you can also record your screen or webcam or host an event or webinar so if you want to upload some videos you can drag and drop videos in this area right here or just click on select files to upload a video so let us start with a sample video right here so i'll show you guys on how to use this by using the sample video right here so i'll just click on try it right here and then this right here is the video and then from here i can start by editing the title of my video so you can set your title right here you can also add a description um add a thumbnail set the content rating so when i select a rating i can make the rating for all audiences or for mature audiences and then next i can also add tags to my video add a category you can also add credits select a language you can also like add a copyright license and also you can add like an info right there that it's been recorded in 360 and then if you want to edit this video just click on edit right here and then you will see different kinds of settings on what you can edit so the first one is takes text based trimmer so you can highlight and delete words from your transcript to remove parts of your video next is we have the editor so we can stitch videos together add music graphics text and more and then lastly we can make this into a gif so turn any clip from this video right here into an embeddable gif so for me i'll just use the editor right here so just click on editor and then from here you can now start editing your video so let us start with the basics so let us start first by splitting this video so basically what splitting does it allows you to um cut some footage in your video so ex for example i want to split this part right here so go hover this track line right here to the part where you want to split it or cut it and then just click on split right here and then your video will be split it and then if you want to delete this part just cl click on the clip that you want to delete and then just press delete on your keyboard or just click on delete right here and then the clip will be deleted and then let's just drag this to the beginning so that there will be no black spaces or like a, a black image in the beginning of our video so that's the basics in splitting moving on is we have crop right here so basically what crop does it allows you to crop parts of your video so when you click on crop right here it can allow you to clip to crop parts of your video so for example i want to crop this part right here just click on check if you want to crop that part or you can just click on this arrow right here to select what kind of ratio you want to crop so if you want to crop it to 16 by 9 there's an option for that if you want to crop it for 1 by 1 there's an option for that and if you want to crop it for 9 by 16 there's also an option for that and then once you're done cropping just click on this check mark right here and then it will crop your video and the next is we have fit type so basically what fit types does it fits your video into the whole screen right here so we have two different kinds of fit types so we have the fill canvas and the fit to canvas so when i press on fill canvas right here it will try to fit the video in this canvas and then if i try to fit to canvas it will fit the video like this moving on we'll move over to these parts right in this left side right here in vimeo so first is we have media 
So basically what media does is this is where you upload your footage. So as you can see over here, they also have provided stock footage just for you. So they have abstracts, city, work from home, events, retail, and a lot more. You can also search on specific stock videos right here just by searching in the search bar. And then you can also filter out what kind of stock video you like. You can also search, you can also filter out some stock images if you want to or just stick with stock video. And the next is we have uploads. So from here, you can upload the, the video that you want to edit in Vimeo. So just click on upload right here. Or what you can also do is record your screen and then it will automatically go here. And the next is we have library. So this is where all your videos are saved. So as you can see over here, the, the sample video that I used is saved here. So this is a shared library. Moving on is we have templates. So this right here, you can use any template that you want for your video. So as you can see over here, there are different kinds of templates for you, for you depending on what you like. So for example, we have a company story right here, um, a website about us, um, an infographic, um, a beauty salon, our shop story, welcome to my channel, and a lot more. You can also search templates right here in this search bar right here. And then you can also use these right here to filter out what kind of templates you want. So when I click on this one right here, I can filter out different kinds of templates. So I can filter out personal templates, preset templates, um, recommended templates, free templates, and a lot more. I can also filter out templates depending on its ratio. So when I click on this one right here, they have different kinds of templates for different kinds of ratios. So we have templates for 16 by 9, 1 by 1, and 9 by 16. Moving on is we have text. So this right here allows us to add text to our video. So you can add a title, a headline, a subheadline, and captions. So for example, I'll try to add text. So you can either click either of these boxes right here or just click on add text right here. So I'll just click on add text right here and then I can add text. So let's say, let's just put sample text right there. Just click on sample text right there. And then as you can see, the text is now added on my video. And then when I click on the text on my vid right here, I can change its settings. So I can change the font right here. So let's say I want to change it to this one right here. And then we can change the font size. We can also change the text color, the fill color, the highlight color, the alignment of the text, the drop shadow, the animation, and you can also edit the text from here. And then as you can see here in our timeline, we already have a different kind of, um, we, we already have a, a text in our timeline right here. So if you want to, to lengthen the duration of your text, what you want to do is just go to the end of the, the text box right here and just, and just drag it to how long you want it. And then if you want to shorten it, just drag it back. Moving on is we have graphics. Then from here, you can add different kinds of graphics to your video. So you can add shapes, frames, gradients, bubbles, um, buttons, and a lot more. You can also filter out, but just by clicking on this box right here, so you can filter out the different kinds of categories for your graphics. You can also add solid backgrounds right here just by clicking on this. So let's try to add shapes on our video. So let's try to add shapes right here. So I'll click on shapes. And then from here, I have a vast majority of options in choosing my shapes. So for example, let's try to add this circle right here. So just click on it. And then a circle will be added in your timeline. So when I click on the circle right here, there'll be also some other options that will pop up. So I can also change the color, rotate it, flip it, um, change the opacity and add animations. So let's just resize for that that for a bit and then there you go we can also drag it around and you can also edit the the length of your of your shape just by moving it around the timeline and then next is we have music so as you can see over here we have different kinds of music that we can choose in vimeo so they already have um, um, uploaded music right here in Vimeo that you can use. So feel free to listen to all of those. You can also upload music if you want just by clicking on upload right here. And then when I click on all music, I can get to um, filter out what kind of music I want to use in my video. So from here, I can filter out the category, the mood, the genre, and the type. So feel free to, 
experiment with those filters. And then here in uploads, you will see all of your uploaded music right here. And the next is we have colors. So from here, we can change the brand colors. I mean the colors. So let's say I want to choose this one right here. So as you can see the, the background and everything in my video changed in color. So feel free to choose what color you want for your video. And then next is we have brand. So basically this is part of the paid subscription as you can see right here so upgrade your plan to unlock more tools so customize your video with a business plan so you can have a brand kit a text-based video editing and engagement and social analytics and then that's pretty much um, the basics in the editing software in vimeo and then once you're done what you once you're done and you want to save this video, just click on save right here in the top right corner. Just click on save. And then when I click on save right here, this thing again will pop up. So I can, I can again set a title for my video, description, thumbnail, content rating, and a lot more. And then right now the video is rendering. So let's wait that to render. So while waiting it for re to render, I will cover some other settings right here in Vimeo. So first right here is we have the analytics. So from here, we can see the analytics of our video. And then next is we have comments. So we can see the comments right here for our video. And then next is we have the manage privacy. So we can set the privacy of our video. So we can set our privacy to unlisted. We can also add a password to our video. You can hide it from Vimeo. Uh, make it to private or to public and then you can also um, allow downloads people can add the showcases and you can also embed um, embed the video and then next is we have shares when I click on share right here I can share this video just by inputting the email of the person that I want to share right here you can also edit the link privacy of your video so when I click on this arrow right here I can edit the link privacy of our video again i can change it to unlisted i can also add the password hi from vimeo private and etc and again we can embed the video and then next is publishing so when i click on publish right here it will publish my video so i can publish it to a uh, social media i can also stream it live embed it email i can also add it to a showcase a channel and a group and then when i click on these three dots right here i can see additional settings for my video so i can download the video move the video somewhere i can see the version history of that video you can also replace the video review the video send the file video file links and delete the video so yeah that is pretty much it on how to use vimeo for beginners